Hi friends, it is your friendly neighborhood, Kevin Hines. Today, I wanna to get a bit serious and informative. My question to you today, how many of you are feeling stressed out or anxious because of the coronavirus, COVID-19? Right now, many of us are hearing a lot of bad news and frightening news about the virus and its impact. We feel helpless, some of us feel hopeless. We don't really know what this virus means in the long term. Will I get it? Will a family member get it? How do I contract it? How will this affect me financially? The stresses about all of this uncertainty are absolutely impacting our mental, brain, mind, and behavioral health. We're seeing and hearing a lot of information on the news and online through work and school and from each other. But here's the deal, stress is a normal reaction but it can take its toll on our brain health and our overall well-being. We often don't even know it's happening. You might feel more on edge than usual, angry, aggressive, helpless, or sad. You might notice that you're more frustrated with others or want to completely avoid any reminders of what is happening. For those of us who already struggle with our mental, brain, mind, and behavioral health, we might feel depressed, anxious, or less motivated to carry out our daily activities. The American Foundation for suicide prevention put out this message today regarding the virus and the panic it's potentially causing. Separate what is in your control from what is not. There are things you can do and it's helpful to focus on those things. Wash your hands. Remind others to wash theirs. Take your vitamins. Limit your consumption of news. Do you really need to know what is happening on a cruise ship that you aren't on or didn't have anything to do with? Do what helps you feel a sense of safety. This will be different for every single person. And it's important not to compare yourself to others. It's okay if you've decided what makes you feel safe is to limit the attendance of large social events. But make sure to separate when you are isolating based on potential for sickness versus isolating because it's part of depression. Get outside in nature, even if you are avoiding crowds. I took a walk yesterday afternoon in my neighborhood with, with my daughter, says one representative from the AFSP. The sun was shining. We got our dose of vitamin D and it felt good to both get some fresh air and quality time together. Isn't that an important message from them? Exercise also helps both your physical and mental health. We know that. Challenge yourself. Stay in the present. Perhaps your worry is compounding. You're not only thinking about what is currently happening, but also projecting into the future of what may become. When you find yourself worrying about something that hasn't occurred, gently bring yourself back to a present moment and back to a calm. Notice the sights, the sounds, the tastes, and other sensory experiences, your immediate moment, and name them. Engaging in mindfulness activities is one way to help stay grounded when things feel beyond your control. Stay connected and reach out if you need more support. Talk to trusted friends about what you are feeling. If you're feeling particularly anxious, or if you're struggling with your mental health, it's okay to reach out to a mental health provider and professional for support if you can avail of it. You don't have to be alone with your worry and it can be comforting to share what you're experiencing with those trained to help. A pain shared or a worry shared is a worry halved. It's important to note that we are not helpless in the light of current news events. We can always choose our response. I. Kevin Hines just wanted to take this moment to check in with all of you here on youtube.com slash Kevin Hines and about all this has been a quite anxious week for me and many of us. I, like many of you, have been following the news about COVID-19, the coronavirus, during the last 24 hours and beyond. But to be real with you, yes, I have become slightly more anxious about what is happening in the world. Moments like this are filled with hysterical and often inaccurate reporting. Speculation runs wild. But it's essential always to remember that we can only control how we respond. I am someone who travels all around the world uh, a lot for work and who has multiple underlying physical issues that, I'm, that mean I am at higher risk. So I have been monitoring the situation to the best of my ability with my wife, Margaret, as I could, aside from the CDC guidelines of washing your hands regularly, not touching your face after your hands have been impacted by somebody else's germs, staying home if you're sick, we must also remember that we have strengthened togetherness. Communities are working around the clock to best support their members, and your online communities are doing the very same. Like with all crises, 
Finding hope and strength is crucial. If you're feeling anxious, that's okay. Reach into your toolkit of treatments and guidelines, as well as, well as proven anxiety remedies like calming and cooling deep breathing, and work through them one moment at a time. Speak to a friend. Tell them how you're feeling, or reach out about your friends out at the crisis text line, texting CNQR to 741741. They're there to talk to you about everything that's on your mind. Taking a break from the rapid 24-hour news cycle is also okay. By being responsible human beings who show care and compassion, we will get through this. Links in the CDC site and best practices will be featured in the link in the description below. I recommend you follow their guidelines moving forward, and I know that I am also aware of the financial impact that this is having on the country and the globe. Be vigilant, be aware, but be strong. We will come out of this on the other side to find a way back to normalcy. This too shall pass, as my father Pat Hines always said about my mental illness. You've got this on lockdown. I believe in you. I believe in us, the American people. Be here tomorrow and every day after that and fight that pain because we need you and we love you. Bye, guys. Be well and be here tomorrow.